Luann Parker here, and today we are going to use Terra Clay paint from Dixie Bell. What I absolutely love about this artistic paint is the fact that I can blend with it, I can create texture, and I don't have to be an artist to do all of this. We are going to simply use Terra Clay paint today. We will do a little bit of blending and we will have a beautiful project when we're done. Okay, before we get started, let's make sure we have everything we need and you always have to clean your piece first. We used Terra Clean. So that is the first thing that you're going to do, clean and wash your piece with Terra Clean. And then because the surface was a slippery slick one on this jewelry box, we decided to go ahead and put slick stick on there and let that set up overnight. Last but not least, make sure you have all your other materials ready, a water spritz bottle, your brushes, and in this case, with Terra Clay, we suggest using natural bristles. Okay, we are ready to paint. As you can see, I already have one coat of our Dixie Bell clay paint on this jewelry box. The bottom is in a really deep purple called elderberry and a lighter lavender is called wisteria mist. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put a first coat on the top and then I'm gonna come down to the front where I'm going to put my second coat. So you can see the difference as one coat to two coats and we will blend in the middle. Okay, we're gonna start off on the top with wisteria mist. This already has one coat of our slick stick. It's sat overnight and it's ready for me to paint. When you start painting, the first thing you want to do, and as you can see, the paint is definitely thicker than our chalk mineral paint, which is why you can build texture. Now, we're not gonna be doing texture, but we will do some blending. I'm gonna set this one down and I want to wet my brush before I get started. With clay paint, you can absolutely use water. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit and pull off any excess water. And so I'm starting with a damp brush and that just helps my paint glide on. So I'm going to take some of this beautiful wisteria mist and I'm going to give it a nice coat. Ideally, you're going to need two coats of paint and the front of the jewelry box, as you know, already has one coat. So we will add a second coat, but it's important to realize that after you put on your first coat, you have to let it dry at least two hours. And honestly, it's best to just let it set up overnight. The thicker your paint, so if you're building texture, you definitely want it to set up longer. So I'm going to switch colors now and go to my elderberry. Now, you can rinse out your brush. You can grab another brush. You could use your mister. What I'm going to do is just wipe this one off and let it set for a minute. And then I'm gonna grab another brush, get it all damp again. This is a, another natural bristle brush. And I am going to take off the excess water and we're going to add more elderberry. We love the clay paint, love the consistency. And now we're going to go to the bottom and add a bit more. So you can see with that second coat, we're having a better coverage of it and it is starting to darken up. I have a secret way that I blend. So if I take my wet rag or a wet wipe, whichever you prefer, you can actually blend your colors. Some people like to do it with a brush. And if you do, all you need to do is take that brush that we were using earlier and we can blend it. But by using a little bit of water, it makes it easier to blend. Okay, we are finally here to the end. I have painted my jewelry box using Terra Clay paint, and I love how it's turned out. I have two coats where we took the Wisteria Mist and blended into the elderberry at the bottom. Now, 
It's still drying. I've gotta let this set up overnight at least. When I come back tomorrow, if I think my elderberry needs to be darker, I can go in and add more elderberry paint to darken it up. And if I like the way it is and the way it stays, this is what it's going to look like. We'll have the darker elderberry, we'll have the blending, and then we'll have the lighter wisteria mist. What I love about this, the colors blend so well because terra clay paint is intended to be an artistic paint that you can blend. And most importantly, you've got to remember, this is not sealed yet. This is not sealed yet. So the last thing you have to do is seal your project. And to do that, you'll either use Terra Tough or Terra Seal.